What it is, y'all? It is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Damachi. Today we're gonna be talking about Familia Royale boss number two that we talked about last night. And I was deadly, deadly wrong about. Based on the information that they dropped on us, um, omitted one huge factor in this. One enormous factor. Sorry, I mopped the mic there for a moment. And that is that Leafia kicks ass. <laughs> Leafia is insane for this event. So much so, I'm going to sack my max limit breaks. And I'm going to take plus two Winnie and plus two Aisha. And we are going to ruin destroy this event and it's going to be hilarious now i've already got my skill flow built so i'm good to go i'm just going to jump in here and talk about the very basics of what you need in order to beat this because this team i mean is frankly hilarious it really 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 is funny um so what i'm going to do on turn one basically i'm going to have aisha come in because Aisha, with her skill 2, will remove the buffs that our units are going to put on each other. Now, once again, I was right last night. You do need to put seal anklets on everybody. Otherwise, you get sealed and life sucks. So make sure you have seal anklets on first and foremost. That part is still relevant. But when it comes to actually running the event, Aisha, because she has a slow effect here and because they buff later on in the match, and because like my Ai Aisha isn't maximum broken, she's going to be very slow, She's basically going to do this at the end of the turn. It's going to be very nice. So when they're buffing at the end of the turn for turn two, she's going to get rid of those. She's going to be like, nah, they're gone, fam. Sorry. Saw what you did there. Uh-uh. Nothing doing. And that's kind of like the biggest part of this. Now, obviously, we're going to do Akane for Haruhime's uh, debuff. And we're going to do 33% SA gauge charge with uh, Lene. But other than that, it's really, that's kind of it. But that is our turn. Now, we are buffing with Leafia. Leafia is going to buff here. Um, and I'm going to do one quick change in turn two that I, I just happen to realize I could do. It's not end of the world stuff by any stretch of the imagination. But it is something you could do to try to beat this a little bit faster. Now, turn two. Notice I have my uh, Argo come in. My Thunder Argo. And we're going to take his skill two for a big debuff. And just apply it to everybody. Now, Aisha's going to go back and do skill 1. She's going to buff herself because she we need to basically wear everybody down by the end of turn 6. Turn 6 is going to be our big turning point in this. Now, there is a way to get a turn 6 finish. Unfortunately, because the team I built, I'm not really capable of doing that. If you want to try for it, go for it. Um, but I find the turn 7 is more than enough to get off a fantastic score. Now... Remember, the main thing to pull, to take out of this is you want one really big hit and you want to finish this fast. The faster you finish it and the bigger that hit, the better your score. So it's a matter of balancing those two factors. In my case, going an extra turn but getting a bigger hit has worked out drastically in my favor. But it's really all about the units you have and how you're able to pull this off. If you have this Leafia, though, you are in absolute luck. You don't necessarily need her. You could do this with any... Uh, big hitting single target unit, but really she's like the best of the best of the best. And I just happen to have her max little broken, which is great. So if you have like, um, magic is going to be better because, uh, they are down, well, 50%, 40%, and then I debuffed them even further. 70% and even lower than that. I like, believe it's going to be like 100% and like 115% thunder. So if you've got a magic thunder unit, great. If you don't, don't fret. It also hurt, helps that that Leafia is a Phantasma killer, so those kinds of things always just kind of work in their in their favor. Now, uh, Light Harahime is another really good unit you could use here. Notice that Light really isn't debuffed. You could debuff it and get good numbers out. Not going to be the same, but it is a good alternative. So make sure you balance this out. Make sure you're using either a Magic unit or a Thunder unit or a Phantasma killer, if not some combination thereof. If you're able to do that, then you're going to be able to do something similar to what I'm going to do today. So you don't necessarily have to build this exact team. That said, I'm going to tell you basically why the team um, yeah, that I'm using here is doing what it's doing. And on this turn, it's going to be really important with your single target to target a different unit every time. Now, normally I come in here and I do a debuff with her. And I, I actually I take it back. I still have to because she needs that for her thunder damage. So I've still got to do skill two with her. 
but I'm going to target somebody different every single turn to try to get a little bit of early damage out. Um, I, you'll notice that this is a debuff, and it's not really important who you debuff with it, because Winnie's debuff is going to basically be the same thing, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to go ahead and target a different unit every single turn, okay? Um, so let's just go in here and do our debuff stack. Now, obviously, on this turn, we're doing Yosuga with Haruhime, and we're doing Aisha's buff, because Aisha basically had to use her uh, nullification, or turn nullification last turn. So now she's buffing on this turn. Uh, Aisha is going to be basically doing AoE damage every single turn, as is Winnie when she drops in, and that's just basically going to keep us in the good. We're basically going to have to make sure that we just keep everything under wraps, more or less. Now, because Aisha is now... Uh, buffed basically every turn i'm just basically gonna do her biggest hit which is also her buff nullifier so we're just basically gonna spam that attack attack to it with uh with aisha is now going to continue you don't have to use aisha you can use anybody that removes uh buffs but it's going to be really important to make sure we get that off plus you'll notice on turn three i'm buffing the counter rate and penetration weight uh, penetration rate with Haruhime, and that's just to get more damage out. Counters are going to be really, really, really important. One of the early mistakes I made in this was having too much defense. If you're getting hit with zeros, you need to basically roll back your defenses a little bit, because if you're getting hit with zeros, you're not going to be countering. You need to take a little bit of damage in order to get those counters out, because alternatively, you're just going to be producing more and more and more damage every single turn. So turn three, I'm going to target that one. And let's go. So Haruhime is doing a big buff. Winnie's doing a big debuff. Aisha's doing damage with a uh, turn nullifier. We don't need that turn nullifier, I believe, till turn five, I think. Five or six. Six. Turn six, they're going to rebuff. So we need that turn nullifier on turn six. But if you are familiar with how the icons work, you can see all the debuffs we now have on our opponents. And this is just going to be glorious from this point on. So we're going to be basically just walking all over them now. And you can see the damage that Leafy is putting out. Like, Leafy is laughing at them at this juncture. So I'm going to go ahead and target not the front one. I'm going to target this one. I'm basically going to switch between those two ghosts for the rest of the match. Okay? Now, in this turn, we are going to go ahead and buff Winnie. And we're just basically going to keep doing skill 2 with uh, Aisha and skill 3 with Haruhime. And then Leafy's skill 3 is just going to be spammed. With the exception of turn 5, because Leafy's secondary attack is a four turn extra attack so basically um on turn five we have to rebuff leafia with turn with skill one it's not gonna be the end of the world it, we're still gonna get the amount of damage we want out we just basically got to rebuff it's that simple but you can already tell by the amount of damage we're putting out here it's really not the uh not the end of the world it's not a uh gonna deter us one bit we're still gonna laugh at these units and ruin their lives all right, or afterlives, since they're ghosts. I don't know. Anyway, Yosuga, uh, Saber, Talon, and Ruination. And of course, we are doing uh, Collateral Thunder to rebuff that extra attack, like I said before. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So pretty straightforward stuff. Like at this point, we're just basically on turn six, we're going to spam turn seven. We're going to spam and then turn eight. We're going to do a big essay and get some crazy numbers out here. So this is going to be a ton of fun. Now I'm basically normally I hold things back and I don't try to show you my best runs, but because you guys helped me build the, the team on stream last night, it's only felt like it's already out there. The team's already been out there. So GG, there's your tactics. So if you have the units, great if you don't have the units but now you know you do not need to go and i want to i want to emphasize this you do not need to go into the new banners i will say that again because it bears repeat i wasted over 1200 iris last night chasing these banners before someone was like hey dummy you don't got to do that Arr? yeah apparently so, stay away from the new 
banners. We've got, what, two weeks for new banners come in. Uh, we've got collab reruns. We've got things just dropping all over the place. Save your iris. I will say that again for the back of the room. Save your iris. Let's go into turn six. I'm going to change targets one more time. I do not want to attack the front one. I just want to attack the two rears. And like I said, we're just basically at this point trying to wear them down. The goal is to get them as low as possible before turn eight. At least for me, it's turn eight. For you, it might be turn seven, turn six, whatever. I think I said turn seven earlier. So I'm, I'm going to get turn eight finish. I've heard a turn six finish is possible. But for me, it's been a turn eight finish every time. I think I said turn seven earlier. Turn eight finish. Let me correct myself here. All right. So Rear Admiral there is, uh, she's pretty much dead. So I'm going to go ahead and target this one. And we're going to keep going. Now, if, she, if I wipe her out, it's not the end of the world. The main thing is I just want to keep one of these units as alive as possible. Um, just because we want somebody to hit with our final SA. So if you kill one of these, it's fine. But make sure that basically everybody's dead when you do your SAs on that last turn. And now this is perfect. Turn eight, we're going to do a triple SA. Now, I'm going to do a triple SA with Haruhime. I could do it with Aisha, but hear me out. Getting Aisha buffed is actually, in the, my case, a little more important. Winnie is going to come out here with an all-in-single-targets debuff, which is, once again, going to help us get more damage out. Now, my third one is obviously Leafia. Leafia is going to hit for really good numbers here, phenomenal numbers here. Just, just, just stay tuned and watch what happens. And bear in mind, when I do this, there's more damage left on the table. My Thunder level is only level 35. Uh, and I've only got a 15% buff on her, where I could have had a 20% buff, I just don't have the assist max limit broken. And I've only got a 15% magic buff, where I could have a 20% magic buff. So it's like, I'm missing some damage in here. But, pay attention to what happens. Okay? Here we go. Now, I've tried triples with Aisha, and it actually didn't work out as well. I, it's better to get Haruhime's skill off so that everybody has the 100% strength and magic. Um, it doesn't boost Leafia that much, but it does help her out. And uh, Aisha's essay doesn't really change a whole lot for Haruhime's output, so, you know, it, it is what it is. It's really these two that do so much more to uh, boost Leafia's uh and all be all damage. But maybe you've got a better tactic. Go for it. Give it a try. You got 99 attempts a day. Um, and this is one. Go, girl. Show them what you got. People have asked why I watch essays. I really enjoy the essays. I don't like skipping them. They put a lot of work into these things. I think most of these look absolutely phenomenal. What we got, girl? Oh, we could do better than that. 7.4 is nowhere near, not even remotely close to the damage that I would expect to see. Oh, 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 counters! Counter! Yes! Get... Ah! <laughs> and that breaks my heart. That's okay. Now you just don't get to see the pretty number that it would produce. Um, basically, it all comes down to counters. I just had some bad RNG there. Um, I didn't get the counter with Leafia, otherwise I would have had it, and we didn't get some really damage off. And like I said, 7.4, I've seen 7.9 out of this team. So, you know. So I got a high score, but then again, I think that's my first run of the day, so. Good numbers. Not where I'd like to be, personally, but if you want to once again see how this basically ranks... Default score is a default score you get for the turn that you finish. Battle turn percentage, 140%, is once again another default percentage you get for finishing on turn 9, in my case. So, total score there. 160, what is that? 16,782,480. That is the score anybody's going to get for ending on turn 9. It doesn't matter. The next thing that matters is highest damage. 
And that's that big number that I produced with Leafia. That's what makes all the difference, and that's how you get a number like this. Now, to be fair, I've got a lot more damage in that team. I'm going to go rerun this, and the one thing I will say, sometimes I tell you guys you can you can auto-run this now with skill flow. Remember, skill flow doesn't change the targeting, and if you're doing this with single targets like this, you need to change the targeting. So there you go, guys. There are your runs. Stay away from the banners. Save your iris. Go get a kick-ass score. Help your familia out, and uh, make sure you share this video. Um, I don't normally go this in-depth with, you know, competitive things, but... It was, it was live on stream last night anyway. It's out there if you want to see it. Um, and everything's there. Go go get some kick-ass scores. Um, just not so kick-ass that you start hurting our numbers. Show some respect. <laughs>